Rachel Norman still bears the mark on her right arm, 47,395. 47,395 young girls, 15, 16 years old. She was 15 years old when she was taken away from her home by Nazis during the early stages of World War II. She was sent to the Warsaw Ghetto. This was most, the worst experience, the Warsaw Ghetto. People dying in the street like, like flies. She was then sent to several death camps, including Auschwitz and Bergen-Belsen, where she met Anne Frank, known for her famous diary. She was sleeping next door to my bunk, and uh, they didn't know that she was going to be so famous. It was also there she lost her new friend. She had the dark complexion. She looked so bad, and her eyes were so into her head that she knew that any day she was going to die. On this Memorial Day, Rachel Nerman is thinking about the troops that fought to help liberate Holocaust survivors like herself in 1945. She's grateful for their service. It did a great thing for the country, uh, which they are uh, fighting for people to be free and to uh, not to be uh, uh, enslaved like uh, we was. And now as an 85-year-old woman, she sits in her home surrounded by the photos of a family she might not have had, a husband, daughter, and two sons, and photo after photo of grandchildren and great-grandchildren, generations made possible by the strength of a then 15-year-old girl and a generation of soldiers who fought to win the atrocity. That condition was so terrible. It's, it's a miracle that someone survived on that. That I survive. She is no longer number 47,395. She is a woman who shares her story of enduring the unimaginable and built a family to carry on her legacy of survival. I remember everything like what happened yesterday. In Temple Terrace, Melanie Snow, Bay News 9.